paglipay o pagmaya. Sa ulugunta, ang rasyang gihatag sa Diyos. Vitamin E jud ko. Pero sukad nag Astax 9 ko, feeling na ko, nininutok mo skin og aura. Gamutay vitamins ko sa una. But with Astax 9, lagsik ko og daghan kong mabuhat ni day. Energy booster gyud ako ang Astax 9. Productive ko sa ko ang work, business, and sports. With proper diet and exercise, Astax 9 helps give the vitality and beauty you need. Para good vibes. IPI, your wellness, our passion. Mahalagang paalala, ang Astax 9 ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin pang gamot sa anumang uri na sakit. Talon Herbal Capsule Food Supplement. Maayo gayud, pang protection. Isa ka kapsula lang kada adlaw. Adunay sangkap na saluyot, nga pang anti-cancer. Malunggay, gutokola, banaba, sambong, ginseng. Makapabasko sa itong lawas o sa itong body organs. O immune system o antioxidant pa. Talon Herbal Haplacious Oil. Maayong panghapla sa mga buntis. Adunay sangkap na 25% ng tuba-tuba. Kinira ang herbal oil nga dunay sangkap na Talon Herbal 3. Nga dunay scientific name nga Bridelia Plant. Makita lamang din sa Clarine Misamis Occidental. Epektibo dyan ni nga haplas. Talon Herbal Haplacious Oil. Antifungal. Adunay mga sangkap ng mga herbal sama sa madre kakao. Asunting uguban pa. Epektibo alas mga ringworm. Kunbun-e. Nuka-nuka. Hadhan. Atlet's foot. Bugas-bugas. Kurikong. Uguban pang sakit sa panik. Sakit sa panik? Pagliksik! Ang produkto sa talan, garantisado, epektibo. To see is to believe. Approved sa FDA, kung Food and Drug Administration. Ug sa ASC, kung Ads Standards Council. Usa ka pagtuo, usa ka tingog, usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Usang patay samtang upat ang nasikop sa drug operation sa Laluigan sa Bohol. Gideklarar nga dead on arrival ang usang kalalaki nga pasahero sa barko human kini giyatake. Ngayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyo sang puwersa. Sa CCTN News Team, kami matod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita, Department of Agriculture, Dennis Sarion 7, dili mahimong mudawat sa mga nasakmit nga dilata, nga gikan sa mga nasod, nga apektado sa African Swine Fever. Samtang giklaro sa ahin siya, nga formal ang produksyon sa karning baboy dinhi sa kabisayan. Ang kasayuran, hihatod ni Randy Gurion. Paday yung problema gihapon ng proper disposal sa mga nasakmit ng mga dilata o canned goods bagikan sa mga ESF-infected countries. Kinitungod kay Hangtod Karon, wala pag gihapon ma-turnover sa DVMF ang mga nasakmit ng mga produkto na sa Food and Drugs Administration, FDA, o sa mga hintungdang ahensya sa gobyerno. Matod ni DA7 Specialist Dr. Daniel Ventura, na dili usab mahimong dawaton sa ilang ahensya ang mga produkto tungod kay wa sila'y mandato ni ini. Ito yung, yung po kasing ano, pagtutulungan na ng NMIS at yung local government unit dyan sa disposal. 
yun naman pong uh, process product. Ayan po ay under naman po sa Food and Drug Authority. Uh -huh. So nakikipagtulungan din din po yan sa local government units kung paano po yung uh, proseso ng pag-confiscate at pag-hold uh, uh -huh. ng mga uh, process products. Ang pagbili apektado ang hog industry. Taliwa sa padayong pagbantay sa nasod na makasun ang African Swine Fever o ASF virus. Mato di Ventura, na base sa monitoring adunay igong supply sa karning baboy sa kamerkaduhan sa Kabisayan. Wa usay pagsaka sa presyo sa karning baboy. Gipaning kamutan sa ahensya nga magpabiling ASF free ang Pilipinas o kini maangkon kun magtinabangay ang tanan. Wala so, pa yung nakikitang uh, yung sabi natin yung ating uh, supply sa port o ganyan. Medyo sana nga mag-pick mag up. Mas lalo pa sana mag-pick up yung ating industriya. At yun naman po binabantayan talaga ng, ng port industry natin uh, na mag-maintain ma itong ano tayo, African Swine Fever Street. Randy Gorion, CCTN News. Blanco pa ang kapulisan sa nakbayan sa Mandawi sa motibo sa responsable sa pagpusil, pagpamusil diya sa Mantawi Drive, Barangay Tipulo sa Maong Dakbayan. Alas 4.50 kagahapon sa hapon, gipusil patay si Rodolfo Mijares, 53 anyos, nga taga Hilltop, Barangay Kasili, lungsod sa konsolasyon. Then, base sa report, padong nauntang mapauli sa konsolasyon ang biktima o bansa yang asawa nga si Gina o City Anyos nga po nga gikang mitambong sa hearing sa kaso sa korte. Diyang gipusil patay sa riding in tandem sa maong dapit. Lima ka mga kabang sa armas ang narecover sa mga otoridad gikan sa crime scene nagatubang og kasong illegal possession of firearms si Mijares samtang nadakpa ni atong tuig 2017 mato ni Gina nga way na dawat nga hulga sa kinabuhi ang iyang bana Usang patay samtang upat ang nasikop sa pag-serve sa search warrant sa mga sakop sa Regional Special Operations Group batok sa usa ka high value target sa barangay Kahayag lungsod sa Tubigon Lalawigan sa Bohol alas 11 kagahapon sa buntag ang mga sakop sa Arsog 7 Bohol Island team nagda sa search warrant kay giluwatan ni Executive Judge Leo Moises Lison sa RTC Bohol batok kang uh, Richie Bangkil 30 anyos nga nagpuyo ra usab sa maong dapit Atul sa pagpaila sa kapulisan, ang mga tinugyan, nga tinugyanan sila sa balaod, mikuha kini sa iyang armas ang suspek dayog pamusil ng sa mga op operatiba. Diha na nahitabo ang pinusilay. Nakaangkunog sa mad pinusilan ang lawas ni Bangkil nga mawin na hinungdan sa iyang kamatayon. Gidali paunta kini pagdas sa tambalanan dito sa lungsod sa Tubigon apan gideklarar kini sa mga doktor nga dead on arrival. Ang upat nga nasikop, giila nga sila si Junri Taghap. Jason Azuela, Cristina Bangkil o Garumil Ulyamot nga puros na kuwaan o pinakiti nga iligal nga drugas. Sa gihimong pagsiksik sa panimay ni Bangkil, nakuha, nakakuha sila o mga binulto nga gituhuang shabu nga buabot nga to sa Osaka Kilo nga mukatidad o 6.8 milyones ka pesos. Subling ipahigayon sa Departamento sa Panglawas ang halapad nga pagpamakuna batok sa TIPDAS. Base sa report, may triple na ang pagsaka sa kaso sa TIPDAS ning Tuiga itandi sa susamang mga buwan gikan sa Enero hangtod sa Hunyo ning Tuiga. Muabot na sa 38 mil ang natapdan sa TIPDAS. Matod sa Departamento sa Panglawas nga ni Minos ang pagpamakuna tungod sa Dingbaxia Scare. Hangtod sa Setembre, target sa ahin siya nga Pabakunahan ang mabot na po kamilyon ka mga tinunaan gikan sa kindergarten hangtod na sa grade 7. Gideklarar na dead on arrival ang usa ka lalaki nga pasahero sa barko nga paingon unta sa Manila. Kini human giatake sa asma ang uh, nagbiyahe kini. Ang namatay giila nga si Rica Portsipriano nga taga Makapagal. Mabalakat pampanga kinsa gidali pagdang sa mga sakop sa Coast Guard sa Tambalanan. Sa pakisusi sa Philippine Coast Guard Central Visayas, ang nagisakyan sa namatay nga MV St. Francis Javier kasamtangang naglawig sa kadagatan sa Bourbon alas 4 Gs o nadawat sa Coast Guard ang taho dali kini nilang girespondihan 
apan wa na kini matabang pa o gideklarar nga patay na alas 6.32 sa kagabihiyon. Mihangyo ang syudad sa Mandawi nga paggamit nun lang gihapon sila sa Binaleo Landfill Facility sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo tungod kay wa na kini laing kalabayan sa ilang mga basura. Apan ang bagong mayor sa Dakbayan, dini sa Sugbo di Uyon, nga himuong labayanan o basura ang Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Arve Veloso. Mihangyo karon ang syudad sa Mandawi sa kagamhanan sa syudad sa Sugbo. Natugutan lang una sila nga mulabay sa ilang mga basura diha sa Binali Landfill Facility. Sanglit wa manggid sila ilaing lugar nga kalabayan sa mga madugta nila nga mga basura. Apan sa Tony Floro Casas Jr. City Administrator sa syudad sa Sugbo, niingon nga dili na gyud mamahimo nga palabayon o basura diha sa landfill sa barangay Binali gikan sa usa ka lokal nga kagamhanan o pribado man. Matod ni Casas, gisaad ni Mayor Labella nga dili himo ang landfill ang syudad apan sa hangyo karon sa syudad sa Mandawi. Si Casas miingon nga ilang paabotan ang desisyon ni Mayor Labella kalabot ni ini. Sa ato consider ang private holders nga nakuha sa atong basura o ikaduha uh, pakigstorya sa ta sa DNR o unsay mga uh, possible nga mga alternative o solusyon ani nga atong Uh, problema. Kaya as of now, murag ang uh, ARN, kanang nasa Binalio, maura siya accredited na landfill. Uh, for now, wala ato yung kuhan nga dilikid palabayan from other LGUs. Private, public, or whatever. So, ang kuhan lang ni Mayor, sa, during sa campaign, ang iyagi yung kuhan nga dilikid himo ng Cebu nga lahi mong labayanan sa, from other LGUs. Ang bilaraw sa dakbayan sa Mandawi nga makiginabi usab kini sa mga tigdumala sa Consolation Landfill Facility tungod kay kung diligid masugot ang dakbayan sa Sugbo sa ilang hangyo. Ang Consolation mo ay ilang susihon kung nahuman na ba kini pag-rehab sa pasilidad. Makiginabi usab ang dakbayan kung unsay laing pamaagi nga mahatag sa Department of Environment and Natural Resources kung DNR kay wag yapong diligkas ang giluwatan ng cease and desist order sa Consolation Landfill nga gipatuman pinaagi sa Environmental Management Bureau kung EMB. Kininunot ni atong pagkamatay sa Osaka Driver sa six-wheeler truck tungod sa pagdahili sa yuta sa landfill niya itong mayo ng tuiga. Dilip ang facility mismo ni padangat na sila sa ila ang appeal para i-lift ang cease and desist o niya. Maula na ipangutahan na ito sa DNR kayo. O kung saan ay uh, kuha na ito. Update. Ang dakbayan sa Mandawi nagsugod sa paglabay sa Binaliw Landfill ni atong Mayo 7 ng Tuiga. Di nagbayad kini og 700 pesos matag tunilada sa basura. Samtang ang mga di malata nga basura sa dakbayan ay naagyatod sa Osaka Recycling Plant sa lungsod sa Konsolasyon. R.V. Veloso, CCTN News. Bagong milingkod nga hipi sa Cebu City Police Office nga si Police Colonel J. Marvin Luan nagplano na magtukod og special weapons and tactics diin mga babay ang mga sakop ni ini. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante. Sa gihimong turnover ng command ng HEPI sa Police Regional Office 7 nga si Police Brigadier General D. Bolsinas sa kapin o sa kasimana nga nagpaabot ng mga sugwanon kung kinsa ang piliyon sa Kampo Krame nga mangulo sa Cebu City Police Office. Migawas na gira kamanduan pinagi ni PNP Chief Police General Oscar Albayalde nga ang gindorso ni Police Colonel Rui Nagarma o Sinas nga si Police Colonel Jema Vinluan mao na gira ng HEPI sa CCPO. Ang gilang nga isog nga personalidad din siya lang ang labing unang CCPO Director nga misukol sa kanhi mayor sa Sulit sa Sugbo, Tomas Osmeña, na himong emosyonal at tulsa ang pagpanamilit sa mga polis at akmen Sugbo. If you are not willing to risk a new to others, you will have to set up for ordinary. In my... In my 24 years of service, I didn't risk everything. Because I really want to make a difference. I was able to survive it. 
Kaya pa si Garbo ang malampusan niya nga gubat batok sa illegal nga drugas din niya bot nga to sa dunan 700 milyon pesos nga balor sa Cebu ang ilang nasakmit sunod sa usaka tuig nini nga nahimong CCP Director. Tungod sa mong programa nga stricto niya nga ipatuman daghan sa mga pulis ang napasakanong kasong administrativa di ng uban wala na makaantos ni resign kini sa katungdanan samtang ang uban nag-absent without official leave. My first policy was to render 12 hours duty, 12 hours day off. So marami na kasakit there are seven NUPs who retired and resigned earlier because they were not able to, to cope up with the, the challenge. How many, how many not awoon? How many not early retirement? So yung mga natira po, ito po yung makikita ninyo yung buo at loob at willing to serve. Diba? Pagkataas sa kalampusan nga nakuha ni Colonel Garma ang uh, mihulip kaniya nga iarosab nga classmate sa Philippine National Police Academy Police Colonel Jema Vinluan ni saan nga kung dili man na matupngan ang nakabot siyang gipulihan iyang buhaton kutob siyang mahimo ang trabaho nga gisangon nga to kaniya Mato ni Police Colonel Vinluan nga ato ni Mando si Presidente Rodrigo Duterte o PNP Chief Police General Albayalde o Piero Salen Director de Bolsinas nga mao ang pagpuhang sa illegal na druga Hindi ko alam kung paano ko babalikatin lahat ng iniwan niya rito. At gusto kong ipagpatuloy ng buong katapatan kasama ng mga polis ng Cebu City Police Office. Kung itong ganun tanga dinapit ang bagong napili ng mayor sa sudet sa Sugbu na si Mayor Edgardo Lavella apan wala kini makatambong tungod kay ito ang kinis sa kauluhan. Apan nagbilin kini mensahe pinagit ang attorney Ray Gelon na ang kagamhanan sa sudet sa Sugbu muhatag silang full support sa kapulisan sama sa pagsaka sa ihatag ng gasolina o alawan sa mga polis lagi na nini ang paghatag o buga sa mga polis. At the same time your Sugbu City government are looking for other forms of support to the police force including rice and meal subsidies as well as battery of lawyers sa ad gihangop usab kini sa Police Regional Office 7 tungod kay alang ni General Sinas kani to milabay ang administrasyon wala kini nila masinati karon siguro uh, pag uh, pag uh, suporta sa sa city government sa lalo sa uh, uh, sa mayor ug sa council kay vice we very happy siguro mas lalo ma high moral ato mga police karon ani nang kabado ani kan windoan sa mga sakop nga kinahanglan nga naa sa gawas ang mga pulis aron mangita sa mga kriminal Arnold Basamante Sista News. Mga kanto ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTV News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang iyang atong sayre 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTV Chapel. Daghang salamat. Sa una, vitamin E jud ko. Pero sukad nag Astax 9 ko. Feeling na ko, nininit ako ng skin o aura. Gamot ay vitamins ko sa una. Pas with Astax 9, lagsik ko o daghan kong mabuhat din na day. Energy Booster, yun ako ang Astax 9. Productive ko sa ako ang work, business, and sports. With proper diet and exercise, Astax 9 helps give the vitality and beauty you need. Para good vibes. IPI, your wellness, our passion. Mahalagang paalala, ang Astax 9 ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin pang gamot sa anumang uri na sakit.
Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Co. on Family, Dr. Jean Raffanan on Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila on Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok on Family. for this Mass today for the evangelization of all peoples. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You have... <clears throat> You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. <coughs> O oh God, you have willed that your church be the sacrament of salvation for all nations, so that Christ's saving work may continue to the end of the ages. Stir up, we pray, the hearts of your faithful, and grant that they may feel a more urgent call to work for the salvation of every creature, so that from all the peoples on earth, one family and one people of your own may arise and increase. 
Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel set out with all that was his. When he arrived at Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. There God, speaking to Israel in a vision by night, called, Jacob, Jacob. He answered, here I am. Then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you a great nation. Not only will I go down to Egypt with you, I will also bring you back here after Joseph has closed your eyes. So Jacob departed from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel put their father and their wives and children on the wagons that Pharaoh had sent for his transport. They took with them their livestock and the possessions they had acquired in the land of Canaan. Thus Jacob and all his descendants migrated to Egypt. His sons and his grandsons, his daughters and his granddaughters, all his descendants he took with him to Egypt. Israel had sent Judah ahead to Joseph so that he might meet him in Goshen. On his arrival in the region of Goshen, Joseph hitched the horses to his chariot and rode to meet his father Israel in Goshen. As soon as Joseph saw him, he flung himself on his neck and wept a long time in his arms. And Israel said to Joseph, at last I can die now that I have seen for myself that Joseph is still alive. The word of the Lord. The salvation of the joy. salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But, but beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you. You will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Bulang at law kanatong tanan. Today's gospel reading begins with a very beautiful image or imagery. Well, if you're familiar with animals being used for signs no, or what we call the, the constellations or even horoscopes, in today's gospel reading, this actually there are three images using animals that are very essential in understanding the message behind what Jesus was telling his apostles and to us. Now, the, the, the last two images, being shrewd as serpents and simple or meek as doves, there was not just anymore a recent time uh, an ar archaeological artifact that was actually discovered in the mountains of Galilee you know, that contained a particular picture or image or carving with serpents and doves. And according to the finding of the archaeological artifact, this jar actually represents springtime because that is the time when, when snakes come out or they are being hatched from their eggs and then the doves are also flying. And so when Jesus used this in a particular context of sending his apostles, there is a beautiful imagery or message behind that being sent to spread the good news, to spread salvation is to bring springtime into the life of men and women. To, to bring springtime to the whole world. Springtime being renewal. But then there are certain interesting facts about the use of such symbols or animals as symbols. Because being shrewd as serpents is actually none other than referring to guard and to practically protect one's reputation. Because snakes are known to be very shrewd and whenever they are in danger, the first thing that they have to protect are their heads. Their heads, ang mga ulo. No? And then head is always connected to reputation. And then to be simple or meek as doves is none other than being peaceful. 
bringing the good news has something to do with protecting as well our reputation at the same time, keeping our calm. No? We have to be very peaceful. We have to be very simple in the, in the way that we are instruments of the gospel. And finally, being sent like sheep in the midst of wolves is a very strong reminder that we who are being sent to spread the good news is put in the midst of dangers. Wolves representing the enemies of sheep. They eat the sheep. They eat the flocks. They are the, the destruction of the, of, the, of, the, of the flock, of the fold, the sheepfold. But what is even more interesting here is to be very, very careful about wolves because sometimes wolves wear sheep skins. No? So this is the thing that we have to be very aware in spreading the good news in trying to live our lives. But thanks be to the grace that God has given us because we are able to continue despite the many dangers around us and in the world. And we are still here. Our faith is still living, is still very much alive. So as we continue with this Eucharistic celebration, we constantly ask for the Spirit of the Lord to be sent upon us, among us, that we may continue to do the task He has given despite the dangers and practically the problems that come along the journey and along the process. Amen. Dear friends, sisters, and brothers, assured of God's guidance and protection, let us now approach God knowing that He is always ready with a help that never fails. And so we say, Father, send us your Spirit. Father, send us your Spirit. That church leaders may be determined and fearless in proclaiming God's message despite opposition. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us your spirit. That nations and peoples may be freed from sinful system of oppression and terrorism. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us your spirit. That those experiencing difficulties in their marriage may receive the grace to persevere in their commitment. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us your spirit that those tormented by fear and anxiety may find protection within the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us your spirit. That those who have died may reap the reward of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us your spirit. Father, you are the source of life. Dispel the darkness of evil from our hearts and fill us with the brightness of your blessing. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Amen. 
May the offerings and prayers of your church, O Lord, rise up in the sight of your majesty and gain acceptance, just as the glorious passion of your Son was pleasing to you for the salvation of the whole world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Your Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For well, this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we this bread, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with his assistant bishops, all bishops, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May our participation at your table sanctify us, O Lord, we pray, and grant that through the sacrament of your church, all nations may receive in rejoicing the salvation accomplished on the cross by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to Señor Santo Nino. O Señor Santo Nino, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders. Through your miraculous image in these chosen islands, remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Señor Santo Nino, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Señor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us, lastly, that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations, in hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials, in the failure of our plans and hopes, in disappointments, troubles, and sorrows, when others fail us and your grace alone can assist us, when we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge, when our heart is cast down by failure, when we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely, when we feel impatient and our cross irritates us, always, always in spite of weakness, faults, and shortcomings of every kind. Let us pray. O Santo Nino who has said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Give, we beseech you, to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them whom you do solidly establish in your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
Amen. O Miraculo Santo Nino, standing before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so incline to pity, be softened at our prayers, and grant us that grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us our unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Renee and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family.